Good morning, Christ Church. Um, it's me again, Ralph, bringing you some thoughts from Scripture. Today, I want to go to the book of Luke, and we're going to go to chapter 10, verses 38 to verse 41. Let me read that and then share one or two thoughts with you. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better and will not be taken away from her. It's an interesting passage of scripture because at a time where the world seems to have stopped and seems to have slowed down, we might say maybe we're returning to the place of Mary where we have the opportunity and the time to sit at the Lord's feet. But how many of us are actually stopping to sit at the Lord's feet to quieten ourselves, to hear the Word of God, to hear the voice of God, to follow the leading of the Spirit in this time. Maybe we are not doing as much as we were doing, but maybe our minds are still very much busy chasing after so many things in this world. When will things open up? When will things get back to normal? I need to get onto this. I need to get onto that. There's so many things we worry about. And I wonder if there's not a message in this for us in this season where the Lord says, maybe instead of worrying about all these things, we should stop, we should silence ourselves, and we should just sit at the Lord's feet and hear what He has to say in this time, in this season, and maybe we'll find some life and hope in just being with Jesus. In fact, I know we're going to find life and hope being with Jesus. I was meditating on this, and I thought to myself, what was Martha preparing? Was it a great meal? Was she trying to be hospitable? Were any of these things wrong? The Lord was coming, possibly preparing for him. I think they were pretty good things that she was doing. But thousands of years later, what truly matters? What was on the menu? What did the house look like? Was it clean enough? Do we know if it was clean enough? We don't know. What we do know is that Jesus was there and he made a difference. Throughout our lives, from the time we were born to the time one day when we bid this world goodbye and we move on, we will be involved in many things that will try and distract us, things that will try and take our attention. But there's only one thing that will stay with us from the beginning to the end, and the one thing that will stay with us beyond the end, and that is Jesus Christ. So let me encourage you this morning. Why don't you stop? Why don't you slow yourself down? Not just what you're doing, your heart, your spirit. Be with Jesus. He's the one thing that is the same yesterday, today and forever. Be blessed. Amen.